This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Bell Catalyst 750 Bike Lock. This is, I believe, the most secure bike lock offered by Bell, and they give it a 5 out of 5 security rating and also provide a $1,000 anti theft offer. This offer, however, only applies if the lock is breached by force, and because of that, it does not apply to lock picking, though that's pretty common for these types of offers. This lock features a massive 16 millimeter thick hardened steel shackle that is covered in rubber to make sure you don't scratch your bike up. For the lock body, under this plastic, we have a hardened steel tube. Retaining the shackle are locking lugs on both sides, which are not shimmable, and then securing everything is a disc detainer core that's protected by this rotatable dust cover. In short, we have the makings of a pretty competent lock. I do have two nits about the lock based on what I can see without disassembling this, and both of them are pretty common, even among much more expensive locks. The first is the thickness of the lock body, and let's open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Underneath all of this plastic, if we look down the shackle hole, you can see the silver lock body. It's pretty thin, only about an eighth of an inch thick, maybe even thinner than that. That's actually pretty common on less expensive bike locks. However, it is disproportionately small when you compare it to this 16 millimeter thick shackle. The second issue is the extensive use of plastics on the inside of the lock, and you can see it even appears to be supporting the locking mechanism. Again, this is something that we see even on much more expensive locks, but that doesn't mean that we have to be happy about it. But here's why all of this is forgiven. As of the making of this video, if you go on Amazon.com, you will find this bike lock for $16.99. I can't think of anywhere where you can get this much security for so little money. Okay, all that said, let's see what it takes to pick this open. We have a disc detainer core, and as I've said in many past videos, it's unlikely these types of locks will be picked open on the street because the skills and tools required to do so tend to be uncommon. But this lock presents an additional challenge because the core is buried so deeply in the lock. If I insert this key, you can see just how far it goes, or at least hopefully you'll be able to. There we go. You can see we have all but a few millimeters of the key sticking out. Because it's in there so deeply, we're not able to use one of these Chinese disc detainer picks, which only has about 10 millimeters of reach. However, this is a very common problem. And because of that, when I make tools, I always make sure I have lots of reach. This one has about 23 millimeters of reach. You've seen me use this several times on this channel before. I have another one that I don't think I've shown you before. This is a little bit more compact. This one has about 21 millimeters of reach, more than enough to pick a lock like this. So it is an issue that can be dealt with, but unfortunately there aren't that many commercially available tools that will help you out on a lock like this. So you do need to make your own. All that said, let's get this open. The first thing we do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. And then let me insert this pick. I'm going to use the one that I have not shown you before. And let's make sure I only have disc one picked up. Okay, I think I've got disc one. Okay, disc two is binding. I think we got a click out of him. He feels set. Disc three. Okay, disc three is not setting. Disc four, four appears to be loose. Disc five, again loose. Nothing on six or seven, and that's it. Going back to the beginning. Disc two, 
got a click out of him. This three feels set. Nothing on four. Click out of five. Click out of six. And seven feels set. Not sure what's holding us up now. Okay, two and three feel set. So does four. Five. There we go. Just touched him and he opened us up. Okay, so I did not feel any false gates or any other anti-pick features in here. As far as disc detainer cores go, this one was not terribly difficult to pick, other than the fact that it was buried so deeply in the lock. In either case, again, this is probably not going to be picked open on the street because the skills and tools required to open it are pretty uncommon. So that's all I have for you on this Bell Catalyst 750 bike lock. I think this probably represents a pretty good security value, though there's certainly areas of improvement. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.